going on, Team IBB? It is IBB James, and I'm here with my friend, T Rose Nose, Travis Rose, for his hashtag IBB Top 3 Trilogy. Part 3. So, if you haven't checked out his first two keys of success in our uh, two previous videos, make sure you do that. And um, we're going to get into his third key to success. And again, our goal here is that there's a lot of the wrong people giving you the wrong advice to send you in the wrong direction that will not end up in success. Would you agree? Correct. And um, we're here to be the right people with the right advice, with the right, you know, learn from our failure when we were the wrong person doing the wrong things. But these, these are the things that um, Travis for sure knows that you will end up, your destination will be success. So wherever you're at in life, follow this. You'll be good to go. So um, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, yeah. then we'll dive right in. So I've been friends with this guy for over a decade now. Nah, and, uh, and, and we've I been, said that in the first And one, we've been so business say, associates yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, since we uh, entered our professional careers. Mm -hmm. uh, I work for Huntington Bank Merchant Services. I'm a business consultant for them, so I'm par powered by First Data. So essentially, I work with small business owners to help them with managing operations, uh, mitigating risk, and improving cash flows um, on the credit card processing side. So I offer a couple different business solutions. My goal, and this is really where this value is going to hit home, mm -hmm. is to find the core of a business owner, what they're looking to achieve, and provide them the tools um, to really find more time um, and to ultimately find more time for themselves, yeah. which in turn making better business. More time. More time. Erica will like that. More, more time, more time so, is key. More time. You got to have that balance. More video time. So, <laughs> um, Awesome. Well, very good. So why don't you jump into your hashtag IBB Top 3 Trilogy Part 3. Part 3. So this can be applied to your business career or it can be applied to your personal career. And that is having genuine concern for others. Mm. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. All right, done. Good. We're good. Genuine concern. <laughs> care, care, caring about people, um, it goes a long way, uh, especially for what I do. Yeah. Uh, when I'm going to talk with someone about their business, that is a passion to them. That, that is more than just uh, a brick and mortar store or an e-commerce store or how they make money. Yes, it's their livelihood, but it's a passion. It's something that they've been working for, whether it's a year or it's 20 years. Yeah. So when I go in and speak with a business owner or you know a COO, I'm trying to get to the core of um, what issues they have, what has made them successful, what they like about doing business, what, what what's the struggle with doing business. But by asking questions to get to the core of what's triggering them or what drives them mm -hmm. is really where you can dive in and then have a deeper conversation, which ultimately then I can in turn help them and give them advice about how to effectively manage their business. Um, this is a really easy concept, and you and I were talking about this earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, often in sales or business development, we talk, and we think we have the solutions, and we continue talking. <laughs> it needs talk, to be talk, reversed. Talk, 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 yeah. Stop yeah. and listen. Uh, mm -hmm. When you're meeting with a business owner or when you're meeting with one of your clients, it is key to ask the right questions and then wait and listen because it's innate as a, as a human being to then – Give the answers. That's going to yeah. provide to a deeper conversation. Yeah, yeah no, and to like, um, I know that when I first, so when I first started in business, I remember I would ask a question that literally they would talk, but I would not hear anything because I was already in my head like, all right, well, what do I ask? Next? Like, how do I, like, what happens next? So asking a question, so super breakthrough, earth shattering idea con slash concept Lightful. here when you ask a question actually listen to the answer and let that answer determine the next question or the next you know what i'm saying like where the conversation goes versus you know because every business has like their i want to you know ideally i got to get through these 10 questions <clears throat> if i know that we're a good fit to work together or not and obviously you have to you and I can't not succeed. You know, we can't like not get new clients. We can't not keep our current client base happy and all that. But 
you know, just the whole concept of let you made the comment before when, when we were talking. People will tell you everything you ever wanted you everything you ever would want to know and need to know. They'll tell you if you just shut up. <laughs> and and you can't you can't fake genuine concern. That that's one thing. It it yeah. is it. You have to be there for your client, for your business owner, or whoever you're interacting with. And I'd say you can relate this to personal terms. Dating is, is a great example of this. You're going on yeah. a date with someone and you're just flapping at the gums. Most likely you're going to talk yourself out of the success of that or potential of the relationship. <laughs> if you sit back and listen, you're going to actually get to understand that person more. And then you're mm -hmm. going to be able to have a real relationship or a, or a business venture establish that real connection where then you can then you can make progress because yeah. if you just talk about yourself or your agenda, it it isn't genuine and people can see right through that. So mm -hmm. um, just sitting back, taking it all in, and ultimately then once you've got to that point and we know what what the core problem is or or what their goals are, then you can have a conversation where you're going back and forth and it becomes a little bit more organic. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um... The word you use, connection, you know, it's it's something like, so people tell like, build a relationship. You should network or you should, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should, you're, you're on a date. But I, if that connection, and that connection, obviously it's not like you literally, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a figurative, you know, thing you can't really see. But I think it's something you feel. But if you focus on making, listening, and making that connection, then you like it's more fun for you. I mean, like I, I feel like that the clients that, um, you know, the reason why I love working with them, and like obviously it's every time, like, hey James, we need to have an appointment, or I call you and say, man, we need to have an appointment. Like, I look forward to that. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a relationship and a connection. And that long ago, um, excuse me, um, long before we had a business reason to mm -hmm. meet up. We gave a crap about each other. We had genuine concern for each other, but um, you know, if you make that connection, every appointment, like for me, like I feel like I just I meet with friends all day. Yeah. You know, like and, and I have clients in their nineties. I have clients that are, you know, just getting out of high school, getting out of college, and everywhere in between. So, but I'm just, like, eh, you know, what'd you do today? I hung out with my buddies. Yeah. You know, like just oh, I mean. It, it technically it makes you your know, it whatever. makes your work life more enjoyable. It makes yeah. it enjoyable for who you're talking to. Yeah. Um. It develops trust. Yep. It um. Th they believe in you. Yep. Um, they're going to be more receptive to your guidance. Uh. And even on the counter, they they might give you a, a little bit more direct feedback, which is still it's that is going to be beneficial to ultimately the relationship because at that point in time, then there's no cookie cutter approach. Uh, there's more transparency mm -hmm. and then you, you can make progress that way. Um, also, I talked about er earlier uh, in our second video about being able to adapt and understanding yeah. when you're dealing with certain individuals, you need to make changes, but it still needs to be genuine. You can't just fake that. When you're talking mm -hmm. with someone, you might have to adjust your energy. We're both high energy guys. Yeah. But that, that adjusting the energy or, yeah, or, or reading, or reading day, non verbals, you gotta, you gotta it's it just down. you got to bring yeah. it down and... Um, you use their energy or, or what they're putting out to the universe uh, and take that in. Because if not, yeah. it, it's just the same approach every time. Uh, and I think it can become monotonous for your job. It, it takes yeah. the fun away that you're mentioning. And then once again, people see that. Yeah. If, yeah. if you're not genuine um, or you're just going through the motions, they read it. Yeah. Um, is there anything... So we're very lucky, and we've talked about this before, is... We have a great family backbone behind us when it comes to, we always heard growing up, care about others. Other, you know, like, treat others how you want to be treated. Um, you know, like, the movie Bambi, all the time, <laughs> Thumper, that was like, yeah, if you can't say nothing nice, don't say it at all. You know, like, I heard that. <laughs> Me and my brothers must have heard that like 10 times a day because obviously me and my brothers were saying not nice things to each other. No, but you guys. Sorry, bros. Um, but uh, the, um, so I guess is, is there anything, 
But re regardless, I feel that it's a ch it still is a choice. So is there anything that you do or something that in your head that, that you kind of tell yourself you're going in a meeting, like you could have like five meetings that were terrible and you're having the worst day ever and you got that sixth meeting and you know, it's naturally as a human being, you're like, this this is gonna suck, or like you know, like like I just want to like I let's get, I gotta get out of here. Like today, today was such a terrible day, you know. So, um, but like for like for me, like one thing that always tell me is like be here now, be present, be present. And so, is there anything that that you tell yourself or that you do to I, help you kind of in preparation in, in preparation for batteries? in preparation for all meetings, you have to go into that and do your homework. Um, going in, going in. Preparation. Yep, yeah. preparation is key. Um, failure to prepare yeah. is preparing. Hold on, that's not how it goes. <laughs> yeah, failure to prepare is pre preparing to fail. Preparing. Yeah, something like that. No, is it plan to fail or something? I don't know. I missed that. You quote. heard it here first. You heard so. it here first. No, so go, you get you need. We didn't prepare. <laughs> we didn't prepare. It's not scripted. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, so uh, drink your water. So, no, right, so it's it's when you have one of those days, and yeah, there's there's some tough days, and you swing and you miss. Um, you pick yourself up, but when you're going in front of that customer, if it's a new customer or someone that you have um, done business with in the past, you need to have that focus on them and just remind yourself that um, yes, th this is your career, this is your livelihood, but you're mm -hmm. going to help them with their life and their livelihood and in order to, for them to, you know, run better business or deal with any financial issues they're having. Like you just mm -hmm. have to remind yourself, um, to be, it's, it's not about you. It's, yeah. It is about them. Yeah. And that is simple. Um, you, you think, but you really have to, before you get that, put the game face on and remind yourself yep. that when you go in yep. and speak with them. Yep. Um, I think it's simple as that. Um, uh, this is pretty much the gist. I like it. Don't, don't cool. pr prepare. Or you'll Prepare fail. Prepare to fail, to fail, to <laughs> prayer. Prepare the plan. No, dude, I, I, I know what you're saying. You know what we're saying. Um, but no, I think that the genuine concern and especially when you, when you, everything is sales. You're selling, you're, 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 you know, you're selling everything no matter what. You know, a teacher is selling the student, hey, you, you, you need to, Pass this because I'm going to sell you on the fact that if you pass my class and you move on to the next grade, life's going to be better for you. And, and, and like with coaching, Rebels, Will Be South, what's up? What's up? Be the difference. Sorry. Hashtag BTD. Um, so, um, a little distracted there. But as a coach, I'm like, for me, now granted, I'm not a teacher. I'm not in the, in the school all day. So I'm coming in to sell them that the work they're doing on the track, the work they're putting in when no one's looking, that in itself, when you carry that discipline, the sacrifice, and work ethic over into the career world, and we talk about this, like the textbook can't teach you sacrifice. The textbook can't teach you discipline. The textbook can't teach you, I just gave it my everything, I lost I cried, I fought, I got knocked down to absolute nothing, but I'm coming back for more. And, when I, and, and, I, and I, that happens nine times in a row, but I keep coming back for more, I keep fighting, I never give up, and then that tenth time I win, and it, it makes everything else feel like it never happened. So, um, Sorry, I went on a rant there, but like I'm pumped up. You know what I'm saying? You like, pumped but, up. But no, I'm I, I, feel, up. I mean, just like people forget that no matter what they do, it's a relationship business. Like everything is about the relationships and those connections to where you know that person, that that business owner that you meet with, is an extension of you. They don't buy products and services; they buy you. Right. So people like, buy from people. So whether you, whether I want to or not, when, you know, my goal, got the, the IBB book coming out here very soon, but you set me up with the merchant services, so if, if someone's like, hey, James, I want to buy a book, and I'm like, here's a book, and then, you know, they swipe their card. He has commerce on the go. I'm going to think of you 
and how great it was when the card went through, or I'm going to think of you and be when it doesn't go through, but how you treated me before that moment is going to determine, am I going to give you a chance to fix anything? It's not your fault. And you're not, I mean, like, I'm assuming yeah. you're not the tech guy right. that is in charge of the, the software that's, in, you know, software error that's happening, or you're not in charge of my, the cell phone company that my phone's messing up, but how you treated me and the relationship you built and being genuine before that first transaction, that's going to determine whether or not I'm your client for life or if I'm calling the... The next company. Right? No, that that's, that makes sense. That, no, that, so that, no, that's I, can a you good, speak no. on that? I, yeah, that's a good way to I put went it. on a rant. No, it's a good so way to put I'm it. Sorry. Is <laughs> some people, you know, their perhaps their issue is they want a better rate, and I can mm -hmm. come in and I can analyze it from a you know finance perspective, and I can put them in a better mm -hmm. situation where they're saving money. That's an easy solution. Yep. Or perhaps they they don't like the the products that they're doing, and they want something that is more cutting edge and gives them more versatility. And we have options for that. We can help you with your payroll. We can help you with you know operations and from the tax perspective. You know there there's solutions for the business, but ultimately it comes down to what you said, because yep. business owners they remember who they work with. They appreciate small business, and if they've been done wrong. If they've been burned, if, if, they, if, they've, if, they've, if they've had poor service or they lost that, that connection yeah. with, with their representatives who, who they're supposed to be doing business and have their back, once that gets broken, trust mm -hmm. gets broken, and then who th that rate, they don't, that doesn't matter to them anymore. They want someone that's going to be there to help them solve their problems and to continue. It, it, it means nothing. Yeah, it, it, it's time. not that it means nothing, but like. But they're, they're not they're, calling. There's that trigger that yeah. hit, and it yeah. was because they couldn't get a call back or they, they couldn't get a straightforward answer right. from someone. Mm -hmm. So you said it first, like, um, it's not just about the ability to process a credit card, it's about the solution that we're providing and the fact that you know that you have me. Mm -hmm. as, as your unified force to come to, yep. to, to give you an answer, uh, whether I have to fix something or whether it's just a thank you. Yep. You, you know I'm a call away. Yep, and, and the, I know that if a solution exists based on my, your genuine concern for me, by building that connection, building that relationship with me, that you, if there is a way, you will find it. And I, I think if there's anything that you're taking away from this. So, and I, and I guess I, 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 I'm why I wanted to really kind of dig, dig a little deeper, and you're the right person to do that with, is the be genuine. I think people are, they'll be genuine or they'll be nice as long as it's convenient for them. You hit that on the head. And as long as it's good for right now. But like that's why I wanted to kind of make that point is it's not about now. It will never be about now. It's about a year from now when everything goes wrong that you know you've you've continued to do what you say you're gonna do, when you say you're gonna do it, how are you gonna how you say you're gonna do it. I mean it's just but just be a regular human being that that gives a crap, man. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. give a crap. Yeah. So. In, in, in cool. its eloquent way, give a crap. Yes. Give a crap. Ha, ha, have hashtag crap. give a crap. All right. <laughs> T Rose knows. Hashtag give a crap. Hashtag IBB top three. But um, anything else to add, man? So no, I think I, I just I appreciate you taking the time having yeah. me out here today, man. Yeah. Um, you've uh, always had my back. It's been a always, pleasure man. being your friend always. and uh, doing business with you. Always. So thanks always. for helping me out. Always. And, you know, always. always be helping you out, man. Always. Very cool. Well. Team IBB, thank you so much for joining in on this final chapter, this part three of the hashtag IBB Top 3 Trilogy, Keys to Success with T. Rose Knows, Travis Rose, and no matter what you do, you know he's got your back, you know we got your back, but until next time, stay burn proof.